Here are nine essential guidelines for PE buyers in franchise deals. Hope you enjoy. Number one, differences. The franchise industry often works differently from other industries. Your employee base is likely larger. Your operations team may be set up a bit differently, but most importantly, you have a franchisor over you who largely calls the shots. Number two, process. In other industries, a buyer often signs an asset purchase agreement, also called an APA, the same day the deal closes. That process is just not possible in the restaurant industry because of the franchisor's right of first refusal. Here we typically perform a four-week initial marketing process and then the seller will choose a buyer to enter exclusivity. From there, confirmatory diligence or even quality of earnings can be run depending on the deal and depending on the buyer. But most important is to commence the APA negotiations. Nothing happens until that APA is signed and submitted to corporate for the right of first refusal and transfer approval, which can take 60 to 90 days. During this time, further due diligence and lease assignments are completed, with the deal typically taking 90 to 120 days to close thereafter. Number three, asset deals. 95% or more of franchise deals are asset sales, not stock sales. Assume, unless otherwise clearly, that whatever deal you do will end up being an asset deal. Number four, post LOI. Generally, once a price is set in the LOI and APA, the price is only reduced for initial misrepresentations, which is rare, and store walkthroughs for items in major disrepair. Buyers generally need to build out their own GNA as a condition of making their initial offer, regardless of a seller's existing GNA structure. Retrading the price on a deal is not customary during due diligence. Number five, M&A attorney. Make sure you hire a good franchise restaurant M&A attorney. There are several groups in the country that specialize in this world and this world only. If you have questions as to custom, they will help. They'll also help navigate the APA much more efficiently than attorneys who don't specialize in this area. Number six, M&A advisors. Advisors such as Unbridled can be very helpful in getting these deals done, again because of the specificity of this industry. This is especially true when buying businesses without sell-side representation, but also important on deals with sell-side representation. Number seven, a people business. You're going to be responsible for the livelihood of many employees, and franchisees love their employees. The more you discuss how you'll treat their people, truthfully of course, the more desirable a buyer you will be. People talk in this industry, and if you get a reputation for treating your people poorly, franchisees will be hesitant to turn their company over to you. Number eight, custom. There's so many customs in this industry. Talk with people who know them. Attorneys, advisors, existing franchisees. There are always going to be things that you aren't aware of, so be open to new ideas, even if it seems different from your past experience. Number nine, reputation. The better your reputation, the more deals will fall in your lap. Many times, deal risk and ability to close can overcome the highest price. Trying to save a few hundred thousand dollars on something that is potentially against a custom could damage your reputation much more than a few hundred thousand dollars that you saved. Thanks for watching. If we can help you in any way, please feel free to reach out anytime.